Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Deus Ex. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in the, the, the land of where we see things. How did I do that? Uh, well, it, this looks like very much amplified. Uh, and the reason for that is because I am now running on DirectX 10 rather than DirectX 9, which is what I was running on. And I got a hiccups as well, which is a fantastic thing, of course. Because who doesn't like having hiccups? Uh, so, what do I have around here? Well, before we leave through the train... Why did you do that? Thank you. I'm not... I didn't even do anything. It just opened by itself. Before we leave through the thr uh, through the train... Hello. Uh, I'm gonna leave... Please don't shoot me. That, that works. Um, hi. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna, before I go through the train, I'm gonna go back here, back downstairs, because there's something we didn't get! Somebody was kind enough to point it out, and I completely forgot how, or that it was there in the first place. Uh, there is a, a door somewhere down here. Okay, I can't get anything up here. I believe the door is up here. Oh, down here. And uh, it's locked. I have one lockpick. But I have something else. Oh, I have something else. Apparently the best lockpicks are bombs. So let's get out of there. Before the bomb shows up in my face. And there it is. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Oh. Oh, some experience. Pretty good. Okay, got a multi-tool. Commander Grimaldi, we liberated two canisters of this stuff along with the Ambrosia during the Liberty Island raid, but none of our people are quite sure what it is or what to do with it. Possibly a biological or chemical agent, but without the proper people and equipment, there's no way to tell. Lebedev suggested we keep one of the canisters and a barrel of Ambrosia here as a contingency. The rest was shipped out to the airfield an hour ago from Killian. Well, Killian... Oh, got an augmentation canister. Well, it's not for here. I also have a nano key. Uh, kiosk added. Wait a minute. Doors to the kiosk. Oh, that's the one outside, I think. Then we got a security terminal over here. I don't think I have the passwords. I don't remember if um, I don't remember if I. Uh, I'm trying to think if we got. Oh, camera. Uh, well, the camera is off, but the turret can't do anything. Can do things over here. Yeah, let's just get out. Um, what do we have? Napalm. Oh, yeah, we have this thing still. Okay. And everything is good. We got a computer. Let's see if it says no. Oh, we have things over there. I was actually looking back here. Need to get that. Let's see what this computer says. It says no, indeed. Welcome to the NSF. Yeah, th yeah definitely advertise yourself um, as, as any uh, all this stuff. So, I don't know. Passwords? Let's hack. Oh. Requires advanced. I don't think I can do the advanced. Let's see. Skills. How many points? I have 130, uh, 1,335. And for hacking, I... Oh, I'm already trained. Nice. Like 2,000. Almost. But I can do that. Because I can hack it with a virus. I don't know how many viruses I have, though. Hopefully I have more than one. If not, I'm really going to need to up my hacking capabilities. We'll see. Uh, what? Cycling main doors. Huh. Interesting. That was lovely. Well, I can I can do this. There we go. Tomb Raider style. Okay, and that opens this, which is that main thing. Then we have the Ambrosia. Did we mess with this one or did we get something else? No, we can, we can mess with this one. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. So let's leave. Let's leave through the train because that's the way out, as far as I remember. Uh, and not through the boat. Did I did I say it was through the boat last episode? I think I was saying that. Uh, but it's through the train. Hey, kid. Thanks, mister. Sure thing. And uh, I got all my things done. So let's get out. Say hi to these guys. Good work. It was. We'll take it from here. Okay. Okay, so... Leaving through the train. There's only one exit, but that's why I didn't. Well, that's not just the reason why. But I guess maybe if you're no, it's fine. Uh, maybe if you want to speed run, you can just go down there. Uh, I can't go through there because it's blocked. So I should probably go through here. I probably don't want to go through there. Okay. 
What do I have? The way down, hopefully. Sort of. Ah, ooh, it hurt my torso falling. I guess it hurt everything. Let's see what we have. Uh, in terms of health, we have 10. That's fine. 10 is good. Ooh. Oh, it's a used flare. Not necessarily the safest thing to, to have. That's very civil of me. Okay, so we got everything over here. We even have these that break just the same. And it's too heavy to lift. Not because it's on fire, but because it is too heavy. Good. Okay, so we're going through the train. We've explored all these things. And we're loading a new area. Welcome to New York City. Hell's Kitchen. Saw somebody run. It's that guy over there. Hi. Yeah? How's it look on the street? How's what look? The fighting. Is it heavy? The cops told me to take cover in the bar or come down here. They've got the NSF surrounded in the Ton Hotel. Hostages? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah, thanks. Well, I guess. You saved my life! Oh, it's you! How's it going? Oh, can't do anything. I'll be okay. Thanks. Oh, it's you as well! They're shooting. Why do they keep shooting? Because, uh, well, that's a good question, isn't it? Hi. The city's lit up, man. Yeah. <laughs> they were gonna blow the whole place up. Us, them, everything. Yeah, the problem is you kind of stepped out of the frying pan into the fire, maybe. I don't really know what's going on upstairs. I have a vague recollection of nasty things going on upstairs. I'm not going anywhere until the shooting stops. That's a good idea. And this is a WWW booth. <laughs> is that an internet cafe or internet booth? What did they do with the computer? Um, public access terminal. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Uh, please choose a bulletin to see. Water advisory. Residents of Manhattan and Brooklyn should be aware that last week's chlorine spill in the Hudson River now appears to have washed ashore and is interfering with the operation of at least one water processing plant. While the impact upon the city's utilities is currently unclear, water rationing rules may need to be instituted within the next week. Under no circumstances should any resident drink, bathe, or swim in contaminated water. If you or someone you know comes in contact with contaminated water, then go to the nearest available hospital or clinic. Yeah, it's just like a huge pool, I guess. Brooklyn Naval Yard, uh, Yards, excuse the hiccup, completes sub pen. In a ceremony held earlier today, the venerable Brooklyn Naval Yards christened a new state of the art, uh, state of the art sub pen. New York Senator Clark Ashton was in attendance, as was industrialist Bob Page, whose subsidiaries handled many of the contracts for the construction of the new building. This is certainly a great day for New York, said Page in a brief speech com to commemorate the occasion. New York is in many ways the symbolic center of America, an example n to, only, to not only the rest of the country, but to the world. As long as New York remains mindful of its past, but dedicated towards realizing its future, this will never change. This building is only a small, he says, but significant step in the continual renewal of the city, and Page Industries is glad to be a part of that. Uh, interesting on the page, interesting uh, industries there, I keep hearing about those. Uh, the Battery Park closed until further notice due to unauthorized terrorist action. Unauthor- Oh, not unauthorized terrorist action, that would be weird. Unidentified terrorist action. Battery Park will be closed to all unauthorized personnel until further notice. Local police working in conjunction with UNATCO agents are currently in the process of dealing with the threat, and according to UNATCO head Joseph Manderley, the situation is strictly minor, quote, but uh, any time the potential exists for civilian casualties, we must proceed with caution, unquote. Uh, okay, be safe, be suspicious. Terrorism has become an unfortunate fact of life, not only in New York, but the country at large. A direct assault on our communities and our way of life that leaves citizens struggling to find answers to difficult questions, not the least of which is, what can I do to prevent such atrocities? How can I help? I suppose not the least of which are, because that's two helps, that's two questions. Especially because... Yeah, I suppose that's, that's very much two different subjects. Quite simply, terrorism is successful because terrorists are able to pass unnoticed and are remarked upon. They... Oh, that's lovely. Oh, boy. I'm gonna comment on that in a little bit. But they fail to count on the best intelligence network ever devised. The American people. How can you tell who might be a terrorist? Look for the following characteristics. Uh, we're gonna look into that. But, yeah, basically this sort of... Um, making citizens into surveillance agents is uh, typical of... Uh, 
uh, well, authoritarian regimes, really, just in general. But not, I was trying to see if it, like, I think it's mostly just because it's authoritarian, not necessarily any political, uh, political sort of mindset or anything by the regime, by regimes like that have, that have imposed this, because I think uh, regimes across all uh, spectrums in the political sense have, uh, have applied this sort of, uh, yeah, just tell on your, uh, yeah, are you married to a, to a spy? Is your cat a, an alien or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but basically, anyway, a stranger or foreigner? Okay. Argumentative, especially about politics or philosophy. And you can just add whatever you want to that. Probing, and also just, anyway. Uh, probing questions about your work, particularly high tech. Spends a greater than average amount of time on the net. Oh, greater than average. Hmm. You saw, you're spending more than 4 hours and 37 minutes per day on your mobile device that is connected to the internet. Although I don't think they were, or they are in this setting. Maybe they are, anyway. Interest in chemistry, electronics, or computers. Man, you know, in a... Seriously? In a in a cyberpunk world? Sure. <laughs> I think this is more, uh, maybe, a commentary on the time this game was made on, or made at, than, than an actual, than a commentary on the world here. Large number of mail order deliveries. Taking photographs of major landmarks. This sounds terrible. Anyway, and those are just a few. If you're suspicious, then turn them into your local law enforcement for a thorough he background check. Better safe than sorry. You and your neighbors will sleep more securely knowing that you have ruined the life of somebody. Yeah. Well, not necessarily, but sometimes, yes. Uh, let's see what I can do over here. So, I don't think I have my own... Requires master level. Well, these people will see. I don't think I have my own access to... Hey! What's the situation here? You're taking over. I've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse. What about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source. Probably an industrial-sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the free clinic and at the Underworld Tavern, down on the corner. Maybe I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, right? Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. Yes. Please wait. Okay, I think I... Yeah, it's good. So, apartment key has been added. I remember, this is an area that, I, I remember a lot of the areas, surprisingly enough. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, but this area is nasty. Because, there's enemies. We're getting reports of a hostage situation in the Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter, Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. Okay. Check data vault for details. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I was just trying to, uh, let's see. So, goals. Talk to the locals in the bar clinic. Investigate the hostage situation in the Tun Hotel at the southeast corner of the block. Uh, rescue the Rentons if they are still inside. Yeah, I, I want to do that. Uh, so, I'm a little bit injured, and I think I can fix that, but we'll wait. Uh, so, southeast corner of the block. That'll be that way. Okay, let's stick to the left. Look at that cold looking car. Hopefully, it's not ruined. I can do this, right? Good. You guys don't have anything? Ne not even rats? Ah. Okay. So we're good here. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. These are closed. It it, it it's literally painted closed, which is weird. You'd think that the closed is a, is a sort of a temporary thing. Oh. Keep out, it says. Well, I don't know what it is. Intercom. Yes. Password? Open up. I'm a federal agent. Yeah, right. Does it work again? Yes. Open. To sick. To sick, come back later. Yes. Password. Open. The buzzer doesn't seem to be working. 
Okay. So that's multiple ways of, of saying that. We're gonna need to come back. If we ever find the password. Which I hope we will. There's people over there. Okay, this car is not looking good. Yeah. We're gonna see the, the proper version of it later, I think. Hey, guys. Den. Hey, it's Den. You want these? What? Give him the grenades. Look, I know he's your brother, but... Your brother gave us these things. Look at this. Irritation to all exposed mucous membranes. What's that gonna do? Just tell Paul to give us bullets next time. Here's one. Prolonged exposure can damage the bronchial pathways. Prolonged exposure? It's like giving them cigarettes or something. Look, do you want these things? Uh, I mean, sure. Sure. Hand them over. Here you go, with my compliments. Good luck. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Although, well, I, I'm, I'm sort of metagaming meta a little bit over here. Oh, there's a brick. Huh. I can't take the 40, okay. I'm sort of metagaming over here a little bit, because what is the consequence of that of that action? They don't have those those grenades, those tank tranquilizer. I don't have them. Uh, yeah, this is the gas grenades, yeah. So, what's that going to achieve? They're going to kill more people? Is that it? I don't know. So, we are going the right direction. But I don't think that is it, actually. Because if somebody says, ah, wait, what is this, cigarettes? I don't think they're going to use it. Oh. Okay. Can you guys please not die? Well, you're killing them good. And I'm getting killed as well. Oh, no. I hit one, though. Okay. We're good. What a freaking field battle over here. I'm gonna die. Okay. As soon as they show up... I can tranquilize them. Although that guy... I don't want to move too much. Because I don't want to lose... He's probably going to shoot me dead. I don't want to lose the aiming skills. They're not too bad. Oh, I can keep them. Oh, nice. I remember things being worse than this, though. Oh, that's not an enemy. Okay. Those are enemies. Well, that one is. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Is he gone back? Nope. What can I do here? Interesting. Whoa, in the head. Okay. Hi. Yeah, thank you very much for the ammo. And I can't reload. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. So we got a lot of... dead bodies over here. It's an assault rifle. This guy doesn't have anything... This guy has ammo, and there's a data thing. Commander Phrase, UNATCO has regrouped more quickly than expected and is beginning a coordinated assault on our position along with the local police. They will certainly overrun our defenses and eventually, uh, defenses eventually, but they must be delayed until the next phase of the mission can be completed. Your men will be responsible for guarding the tunnels leading to the generation station. Dig in and arm all available automatic defenses. I don't need to tell you what what's at stake. Good luck from JL. I'm not really sure what JL means. We got a knife. I really don't need a knife. You can keep the knife. Yeah, that guy. You need to go to the do to a doctor, sir. I'll not take the pistol either. We'll take it from here. You did it All well. Clear. A bunch of you died, but well, that wasn't my fault. I got shot a lot. Okay. So is this it? I don't remember if it's the Nilton Hotel or whatever. I think I'm killing the rats inside. <laughs> I think I'm killing the rats inside. Okay. It's a living. 
Is it? There's a troop in here. Hi. Oh. I think... Can I step on the rat? I think I can. Can drop that here. Sure. And we have a terminal over here. Can I hack it? No. Okay, so this is the same thing as before. There's a fire extinguisher. There's a... There's rats and a... This is a terrible place. Got a newspaper over here. Bellevue Hospital has reported a 50% increase in the number of patients admitted over the last three months compared to the same period last year. A disturbing trend, said Dr. James Cabell, and one that's stressing on our personnel or our personnel to the limits. Many of these admitted are homeless that the police can't or won't deal with. Some of them afflicted with a great death. We simply don't have the facilities to deal with those cases, and most of the hospitals refuse to accept them. Many have linked the outbreak of mental illness to the recent rise in recreational drug use, in particular the new designer drug Zyme. I think I read this before. Um, speaking of conditional anonymity, Zyme has simply become a threat to public welfare. There has been there is, there have already been discussions with Washington on a zero zero tolerance solution. Okay. You better get out of here, Mr. Renton. Terrorists have taken cover inside the hotel. Ah, can't leave the desk unattended. You'll be caught in the crossfire. I have to order you to leave the building. Yes, of course. I'll close up in a second. Will you close up in a second? Okay, so I have... Uh, oh, it says where they are come from. Paul Denton from New York. Uh, of course, that's our brother. Orberst and Zian. Southwest Africa. Southwest... Coma... Africa? No, no. Sudwest. Oh, that's, that's a country. Is it? I don't know that. Um... Uh, Gabriel Gabriel Slime from London, uh, Gully Foyle from New York, uh, Smila Jasperson from or Jasperson from Copenhagen, and Hippolyta Hall from Los Angeles. Uh, okay, so you're you're gonna be fine, right? We're all gonna be fine. It's gonna... He's gonna be caught in the crossfire. Okay, there's another one. I'm gonna get you. Oh, just like that, huh? I just watch it. Were you gonna say anything? Okay, did the guy die? Because if he did, I'm reloading. No, he's pretty strong. Oh, come on, you and your knives. Give me water. Give me water, give me fire, give me that which I desire. So drop that and that. Give me more water. Um, Commander Freys were pinned down in Hell's Kitchen and I'm not sure what to do, it says. They're slaughtering us in the streets wherever they find us. This one mech og is like a giant walking tank. I saw someone pour a clip into him and it didn't even phase him. I've lost contact with Alpha and Delta teams. Yusuri and Thumpkins are dead. I don't know what to do. We've ho ho holed up in the, in the hotel. It's so different from than training. Please tell me what we should do. If we leave, they'll kill us all. If we stay, we're dead. If we ha had to take hostages, I know we were supposed to minimize civilian ca casualties, but I didn't have a choice. Oh, I've had. He says he's had to take hostages. What can we do? Well, hopefully it's going to be fine. We'll see how that goes. Paper clips can't do that. We have a newspaper over here. That's, a, again, about that. We got credits. We have a nano key for... The North Room, a card box, can put that away and break the card box for no reason whatsoever. Just to show. See? That's how mad I am. Not the vases, though. Okay, we got a book over here. First of all, what is it What is it really all about? The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Ches Ches Chesterton. What is it you object to? It says, you want to abolish government? To abolish God, says Gregory, or said Gregory, opening the eyes of a fanatic. We do not only want to upset a few despo despotisms and police regulations. The sort of anarchism, that sort of anarchism does exist, but it is a mere branch of the non-conformists. We dig deeper and we blow you higher. We wish to deny all those arbitrary distinctions of vice and virtue, honor and treachery, upon which mere rebels base themselves. I think that's what it says over there. The silly sentimentalists of the French Revolution talked of the right of men. We hate rights as we hate wrongs. We have 
abolished right and wrong. And right and left, said Simi, or Sim with a simple eagerness. I hope you will abolish them too. They are much more troublesome to me. Simi? Who was this? Gregory and Simi. That's an interesting, interesting conversation there. Not really sure what to say about that. A little bit too simplistic, I guess. But I'll be able to drink water and heal for two points. I'm not really sure if I'm healing everything for two points. Let's see. We got ten on the torso. Sour water? Ah, well, I think I think I did heal the torso anyway, because I got shot so many times. I got lucky, that's what it was. But anyway, we're out of time for the day, so uh, let's continue this next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Deus Ex. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.